what is the deal beautiful people it's your boy Ramon lifestyles to find so I got pulled into a conversation the other day where someone just wanted to know why I was using Bing versus Google and it was a real uh, because we were looking something up and he was just like what why are you using Bing use Google I'm like well why why should I use Google and his response was just like, it's better I'm like, okay well why is it better he didn't really have a reasoning for why he thought it was better although you know i've been paying attention to this for a very long time i've seen you know bing was bing was a joke when it was first released and why microsoft was getting into it not a lot of people understood but google was just dominating the market and making billions on top of billions and microsoft is uh <laughs> Microsoft is one of the very few companies in the world who, when they decide to throw some weight in a direction, things change. And for them, they wanted to get into search because there was a, a, a large, even if you commanded a percent of the search market, there was some money to be made there. So Microsoft started out and it wasn't great at first, but it got better over the years. And now here we are many years later, you can search the the exact same things and the results will be the exact same and at first i remember in the early days of bing one of the reasons i i had to go back to google for certain things was because google had a better index on a lot of forums so for a guy like me in the it professional you just mer you just nerding out on phones and xda developers and fixes and whatnot i find that google would give a much stronger result and here, later in the days, these days, Bing, I think, is, is the exact same place as Google. And I don't think a lot of people know this. So much so that Apple, for a while, switched over to Bing for the default search for Siri. I think it's still that way. And I don't think a lot of people know. And not a lot of people care. And I challenge you, you do a search in Siri, it doesn't really always say Bing. It just gives you the result and your results are always fine, right? So there's there's that perspective that needs to be tackled. Now, what I had to explain with, to him is uh, the, the consumer's, the consumer's uh, lack of the, the, the privacy. Like, we give away so much to Google, and this doesn't only apply to Google. We, we tell Google everything about us. We tell, we, we go on Amazon, they, they, they know what we search, they get our inboxes, uh, in our emails, they know what we buy, we know what we've bought, they know what we're looking at, what we're tracking. There's so much around, around how that works. Just also Google can serve better as to, to better sell us things. And, and that's, that's okay. Me personally, when I start getting into conversations about these things, it makes me feel bad. Like, damn, I shouldn't be doing this. But I wholeheartedly understand that I am using a service from this company for free. And in exchange, I'm giving them some information about me. How much information I'm giving about me, I'm entirely convinced that it's way too much. And we kind of don't have any control over it at this point. Now, because that's a one-sided thing, it's a win for that company. Looking at the Microsoft version of this, sure, we're still giving them way too much and what we're getting in return, and we're talking about these services, do not equal the amount of information we give them or the value and power of the information we give them. But at least on the Bing side of things, there's this beautiful, wonderful thing called Bing Rewards. And I've been using this for so many years. Bing Rewards is every time you do a search, you get a certain amount of points. And uh, the points can go towards just random things. Starbucks coffee cards, Target cards, iTunes gift cards, uh, once Zoom cards. Uh, one of the things that are on there that I care so much about is the uh, there are xbox xbox card so you can buy before you used to have to buy a, a, a five or a ten or fifteen dollar xbox live reward card uh but you can stack them 
now there's the game pass where you can you can get a, a, a monthly subscription or to all of these under uh, this hundreds of games that they've got on tap sort of like netflix for games and there's a lot of old 360 xbox games on there so there's that uh, then there's the the ability to buy three month xbox live passes or a one year xbox live subscription so there's all these things on there that i i sort of use and then there's the dopeness of like you can you can donate to charity so every now and then uh probably like once a year i'll go in and look at how many bing points i have and it's a lot right and you can get like for instance i just bought i bought a i think i bought a game pass and i also bought PUBG and some other thing uh to, for free for essentially for free and not for free because i'm giving them all my information right uh, but also, I've got so many more points left over that I'm probably going to get another year's subscription to Xbox Live. So that's also, and I probably only, I, that's probably going to cost me half the points I have right now. And then the ability where I'll go in every year and just take a bundle of points. If I don't need anything, I'll just donate them all to charity. And I don't know what the conversion is, but it makes me feel better do it whatever however these big points can help these reward points help somebody out there just do it so I, I think I think it's important to to sort of rethink the value of what you offer these tech companies and if by doing so uh, you know you're you're not okay it's look look towards Bing look to see how that helps and even with the Bing rewards and I get value out of that, I still think we as consumers tell these companies way too much about us. Uh, and they're making billions off of us. And, and in this in this era of technology, uh, we're paying the bill for so many things and we're still paying for the products. In the ideal world, uh, what I think would be dope is if I could sign up for Microsoft or I could sign up for Google and be like, you know what? You can know every single thing about me. Here's my Amazon passwords and all of this craziness, yada, yada. Wish they got anyway, right? Here's all of that. Uh, and you give me a Pixel phone every year as part of that package for free. And you give me a tablet. Give me the hardware because the hardware is costing you pennies on the dollars. The real, the real drive-in part of your business is me. So give me something. I need you to equal that out a little bit. Let me know what you guys think about this. I know there's a huge Windows Phone community on this channel, and I know a lot of you guys have been using Bing. In fact, on my Galaxy S8, I just installed the uh, the Bing search on the home screen. So instead of using Google, I use Bing, and uh, it's been it's been working fine. Let me know what you guys think. My name is Ramon. I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs> Well, I guess. And the reason we started Lifestyles to Find is because uh, if we weren't on camera arguing about these things, the technologies, the phones, the iPhones, the Androids, the cameras, the games, we'd be on the phone arguing about it. <laughs> we'd be in each other's houses arguing about it. So why not just put it in front of a camera for everyone to enjoy it the way we do? That's what Lifestyles to Find is all about. We just love it.